Hello, everyone. Peekaboo. <laughs> so, in my books, <clears throat> particularly Rise of Hawk and Thomas Baker, which are book one and book two in the series, there's a location called the Rose Road, Rose Road Safe House. It's a safe house the hawk uses as his private space and sanctuary. And in the story, the only real description of Rose Road is the inside, which is the inside. And a basic idea of Rose Road is of an abandoned building, probably an apartment building, which has had a fire or is otherwise unsafe to enter, except through this back door via a narrow alley, which needs to be narrower, um, into a hallway that goes upstairs. And at the end of the hallway is a single and only, the only available accessible apartment, which also happens to be lime green just because it's funny and hence the bird is there just because it's funny I should have named, named him stinky I usually name things stinky um, so when I originally did this build it was really early on and I was actually still making the tower building which is a but ugly I saw but it's still a tower um, and so basically what I did was I spent all this time trying to get the insides sort of working and then I just did something silly and made, you know, a big ass box around this, this interior. Um, although I do like my fridge. You can even put food in it, although you can't open the door, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so, because it was so long ago, and because I've, it's been an eyesore, the original building has been an eyesore forever since I made it, um, I've been looking for a, a new way of, of rebuilding the outsides which is why you can't see the outsides i'm only showing you the insides because that's all that's important i may actually fix the out insides a little bit the scales a tiny bit like this room is too big it should be like half as wide it should be um the feeling is that five people in this space would be too too much too many people um but that's okay uh I wanted to make the outsides, but I wanted to make it something good, something important, something that mattered, because Rose Road in the story is really important. It's Hawk, It's basically Hawk's first home outside of the tower, outside of the agency. And other than being butt ugly lime green, um, <laughs> that's actually thematically, t uh, there's a reason for it in the story, but it's, it's funny in the game. I, I wanted... <clears throat> Rose Road is really important to Hawk. It's his safe place for 15, well, 10 years while he's Hawk. It's the only space where he can be himself. It's important. And the theme of it is that every other part of it outside of this apartment and that hallway, or most of that hallway, because that's supposed to be a hallway, and so is that. But other than these spaces, the rest of it's rotted away, except for the outside, obviously, the exterior of the building. And so, it's, uh, the idea is of a diamond in the rough. Anyone who would look at the building would think, nah, that place is completely screwed. There's no way there's going to be a livable space in there. Because um, the outside would have been, you know, covered in ash and stuff and fire stains and all that. So it's obviously trashed. That was the original idea. But the, the original idea was that the safe house is the diamond in the rough. 
And what I wanted to use, I wanted to use a real life building that had a similar feel to it, a similar, that diamond in a rough, that sort of, <clears throat> if you could just polish it a little, it'll be pretty. And I wanted to, I waited a long time, probably two or three years, until I found the right building. Um, to base the Rose Road safe house on. Now, the other day, I just, I randomly stumbled on a building. Just, I was uh, Googling abandoned buildings, essentially, and I found this, this beautiful building. I mean, it's obviously abandoned, but it's very beautiful. And if I was a millionaire, I would totally, or a billionaire, I guess, would totally try it and hire someone to go and buy it for me and we could fix it up because it's it's beautiful um but the moment i saw it i thought that is rose road that is the rose road building and i'm going to make it in minecraft damn it um <clears throat> and it's a building in hell's kitchen new york new york that area anyway I tend to look in the New York area, the, the, the greater area rather than the, the central area. Uh, it, so it's in House Kitchen and it's called the Windermere. I hope that's how it's said, um, pronounced. And it's it's beautiful, beautiful building. I'll see if I can link to uh, an article about it to sort of show off how pretty it is and how much it really needs a lot it's a, it's a very much a fixer upper um so to start the build i have to completely demolish the old building the the bits i'm not showing you right now and then start from scratch because the original building is only two stories and the windermere is i think like five or eight it's many more stories high. It's got a completely different build to uh, palette. I can't just sort of alter the original to make it look like the Windermere. I have to bring it right down to grassroots and start again. So this should be a fun direct, uh, distraction from the uh, University College of London build, which is currently um, somewhat large and overwhelming at this current point. <clears throat> so hopefully this one will be a little bit more fun. And let us begin. So, cue the music.
welcome back and um, so here's the thing my replay mod has been the, the one that does the recording that the music goes over uh, has been really really problematic it's been crashing and spitting the dummy and I recorded the first part of the build just the frame and obviously the, the bits behind me behind my character there in the replay mod and then it, it spat the dummy like three times in a row when I tried to edit it and then the file became completely inaccessible so that happened and I thought I could either take it down and start again or I could just say hey I'm really sorry you missed the beginning bit but that's okay I'm doing my best and I think I might have found the problem hopefully we won't have that problem again so back to the busy bee creation of a big building montage so cue the music again
So, I've just just about done the, uh, I believe it's the north facing side of the building of the new Rose Road safe house. Um, and other than a few little tiny bits I want to fix, um, I really like it. I, I changed a few bits at the top. Um, in the actual Windermere, there's windows, big windows, with uh, like a fire escape that connects them. But I thought it looked better having those, the slices, the lines, and having the windows offset right at the back of them. Because it, it just, it looks more even. I quite like it. I'm so not too happy with the the wall blocks being used as pillars, but I don't haven't figured out if there's anything else I can do for that. I can do sort of like inverted pillars, but not sticky outy pillars. That's the nearest I can do. There used to be a, a mod called Ticket, which was really cool because you could get all sorts of shaped blocks, you could get squares, you could get um, uh, half blocks, like slabs, but instead of being on the ground or on the ceiling, they were on side on on the walls, like the, f the long side was on the wall, so you could have a half block as a wall instead of just sort of steps, but that's okay. I think given the palette and the complication of the actual Windermere, how, how there's a lot of detail in it, and I couldn't do a lot of it. I think given all of the limitations of Minecraft, the scale that I have to do it at, and how complicated the real life version is, I think it's pretty good. I can't wait to see it done. So this should be the end of the first video of showing this build, which hopefully will be much shorter than the UCL one, which is already at video three, and I've been halfway through. But I like it. I think some of the color scheme might be a bit gaudy, but um, the shapes, and the contrasts I quite like. Anyway, time to go again. Ara nihasa.